so this came back from a product discussion um, two, three hours ago, and one of my friends, she mentioned that she hasn't seen my YouTube video for quite a while, so I just thought I'd just like to post something up here and share something very interesting, which I'll share just in a bit. It's actually a very strange spiritual encounter. Uh, yeah, it's super cool. I'd like to share it with you. And yeah, and also, I have that candle at the back, and this is something that I got as a birthday gift, and it smells so good. Let me just take it. And it just smells so good. It's by um, Bath and Body Works. It smells super good. I'll just leave it there. The For the meantime. Yeah, and I just want to share um, a spiritual encounter um, happened not too long ago. And I thought I just want to share it here so that you can enjoy. And uh, yeah, so it was just like two Fridays ago. And the Shine team and myself. We went over to an investor's house for a worship session and I initially didn't want so it was like two Fridays ago, it was about 7 30 uh dinner time, right? And I, was, I initially didn't want to go because we just before that we just like two days uh, we had two days of worth of discussions um about our, our products, right? And um but I decided to go anyways. You know, and what seemed like a very unassuming night, right? Turned out to be actually a very pivotal moment for me and a very interesting moment as well, a very spiritual encounter. Because towards the end of the night as a um you know, the 10 of us were praying, so there's like 10, 10, 10 plus people in the basement. Um, one of the ladies, which I did not know her initially, right? Um, yeah, she started praying for me. And she started sharing what she heard from God about me. I bet my, I, 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 I don't know her. Never seen her before in my life. Didn't really even share much. And she started to um, share um, two things. And I just want to share the, the, the two things. And I was shocked, you know, when I heard it. So the first thing that she said was, you know, God was actually speaking to me and I knew it. Um, she shared that, um, she felt that she, God was telling her that I was trying to hear God speak, but I wasn't very sure or confident about it. You know, because of that, I didn't really speak up about what I think God was saying um, during our discussions at, at, at Cheyenne. And I felt this was extremely timely right? because you know, just one day before the event, uh, the Cheyenne team had another discussion. I was pretty, she, pretty quiet and silent later about the day. Yeah, so that's the first thing which I thought was well, interesting. Um, I mean, I, I like to be discerning. I like, I like to, I like to really be clear. You know, like, are you sure this is from God or this is from? God? But I, I was just shocked because of how accurate it was and how timely that was. Uh. Um, so that's the first thing that she that she shared. And uh, the second thing that she shared was to be a son first and then a performer slash doer. Um, and I think so. What that meant was, um, she felt that uh, she felt that God was telling her that I was trying too much to become like an executor. An executor is someone who just likes to get things done, to do things, to accomplish stuff. And she shared that um, I should be like a son first, I should have a relationship first, <clears throat> then a performer and doer. And God really just wants a relationship with me first and, and not the work that I'm doing, not the things that I've tried to accomplish on the mission. And what He really wants from me is just really a relationship and for me, for Him to just to know me, that's all. And again, it's really, really very relevant because I think for the past few years and even more so when I just started in Shine, I think I, I sort of, I sort of like seen things as like a list of to do this, you know, which sometimes made me a bit of a bit unemotional about things, and and really after I heard about these, I'm just like blown away because I don't know her. That's number one. Number two is like she, she, she it felt as if she, she knew my whole life, and that was so interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never really spoken to this lady my entire life, um, and and what she said next took me by surprise. She said, um, "Ted, I want you to pray for me." That's like okay. So I asked her. Okay, so what, what what can I pray for you? What do you want me to pray for you? And she replied, she said, I don't know, you 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 talk to God and sense what God is trying to say to you about me and pray for me about that. And whatever you pray, I will believe it fully. And I was my mind was like so anxious, right? Because um what happened if I prayed something wrongly? What what if I hear what, what if I didn't hear God correctly? And but you know, but after a bit of nudging, I just try to sense um I try to sense what, what God was telling me, what, what I was sensing, and just started praying. And so I prayed and asked God, I said, God this is I see God like this is I, I've done this before, but I said if this is your will, just just show me what you what you want to reveal to me, and I'm just I'm just uh, mouth it. So as I was praying and, and asking God, I had this like very warm feeling in my heart, and um, at the idea of like a broken relationship somewhere like in a family or a kid or, or, or a friend keep in mind, and I just prayed and I just I just, I just um yeah let's pray that I just I just share let's pray and, and, and share what I sense and also that God actually restore this relationship, you know, and after after praying. As I opened my eyes, I, I gave a nervous smile to her, and I, because I was a little bit afraid, right, that I prayed or sensed the wrong thing. And I mean, for me personally, I see a lot of things. I my mind is just it's just in the clouds. I can be talking to you halfway, and suddenly in my in my mind, like a weird monkey just pops up from nowhere, right, or a spaceship, or a, 
or clouds or a night sky or like I don't know random really random things and and, and so it's really hard for me to to, to 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 know like what is from God and what is not from God at that stage yeah so I was really, really nervous and, and uh, that, that I prayed the wrong thing you know but after I shared with her she, she shared that she indeed um, had a broken relationship for the past few years with, with this like close friend of hers and when I heard that I heard, when I heard her affirmation or confirmation my jaw just dropped you know um, and she went on to share that she was recently you know in the month of August which is back then it was just like a couple of days ago right uh, again very timely uh, and she was trying to make take the initiative to actually reconcile that uh, broken relationship and that she had other friends also praying for her to incest back and uh, yeah and that's, I thought it was so interesting because I've never done this before I have no idea why was it accurate uh, and yeah I know as I, as, as I continued to, to talk to her I um, had a very again the, the strange one feeling just it just kept growing and growing and, and I had no idea what that was but I just became a lot stronger and I was just like doing this I was just like I just like kept, I just kept rubbing the left side of my chest to just try to like ease it down and, but I didn't go away and, and then after a while you know, I didn't think too much of it and then I started like ignoring it yeah, so the so that that's just part one, okay. But part two was more interesting. The part two is the next morning. So the next morning, I was listening to some uh, worship songs in the living room. It's about nine a.m. or so, or eight a.m. Just woke up, you know. Um, and again, I was when, when I was listening to some worship songs, I had I felt the exact same feeling in my chest, and I had no idea why or where did that come from. And and I just in fact I just ended up in a work meeting. I was in a work mode uh, with a client um, at around that time. So it's kind of strange to have that feeling. And I wasn't worship, worshipping him or anything, but I just had that feeling. And just worshipping him. And I just listened to a bit of songs, right? Um, yeah, so it's kind of strange. And then, and then all of a sudden, I just felt the need to, to go to my room and have some like quiet time with God. So, so I was just, I was actually lying down on the floor, like down here, I was lying down. And uh, I was just thinking in my head like that, maybe this, this feeling that I've been feeling since, since last night, right? I had in my heart was maybe the Holy Spirit. You know, so I, I pray to God, say, God, if, if this is the Holy Spirit, Father, I ask you to baptize me with the Holy Spirit now. You know, and, and I, I, to be honest, I didn't expect anything. I, <laughs> I really didn't expect anything. I was just, I was just asking, I was talking to God. You know, and as I was soaking and just praying and, and just worshipping, and suddenly I just re- received a text from a friend. I will, I will, it's not here. And uh, she suddenly asked me to speak in tongues. She said, you know, I know what you mean. Speaking in tongues, not as a task, but as a flow. And at first I was a little bit skeptical right? because you know, I tried I've tried speaking in tongues before but it seemed a bit like weird and forced and awkward. And and it failed, right? It just for some reason it just, just it just it just wasn't that I knew. I knew I knew that I was like forcing it or, or faking it or whatever you want to call it, but it just wasn't it wasn't speaking in tongues. You know, but for some reason I just gave it a go again because I don't know why. <laughs> but I just did. And and you know, as I tried, right, I, it just started flowing. You know, it just it just flew and flew and, and, and a while later <laughs> In fact, like, few seconds later, I just started to burst into tears. And I didn't know why. But what I knew is, I just suddenly, I could, could, I could suddenly feel like God's uh, love for me. I could suddenly feel, like, He just showed me, you know, how much He just wanted to have a relationship with me. How much He just wanted to know me and, and just to love me. And for Him, for me to love Him back. And uh, what I was just thinking in my head, like, how come this God who created the, the cosmos, the, the creator of all the stars and the planets and the universe, how come, this, this God that's so big would go through all the efforts of speaking through many people to, to just reach out to me and I thought wow am I that significant yeah and, and, and I was just so touched I, I could just feel I could just feel love his love and I, I just cried and cried and cried and I just cried for like about 10 minutes maybe more I don't know and that was something I, I, I and it was just so amazing um, and, and I think after a while just like one hour one hour later uh, yeah after I went back to after I I, I, I I cleaned myself up and I just went back, I just suddenly got remembered that the previous night, the previous night, uh, I think God revealed me, revealed something to me in a dream. And and uh, it was very interesting. So I had a dream where I was in a room and in the room, um, I was in one corner of the room and had, I had another friend at the corner of the, of, another, of, uh, of the room. And on the floor at his side, there was like some words like jumbled up, right? And on the words, some jumbled up. It was, it's, a, it's a word that, that is formed by like different things on the ground like like I, I forgot what it's like sweets or like items or objects on the floor that someone formed something and from my perspective I couldn't really understand what that meant and um, yeah and from my view I, 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 I didn't really understand but as I went to him to try to find out what the words were what he was saying and before I could really even see the word I just broke down to tears um, and I felt that that was a, a dream uh, from God and, and I think what he was saying is that he was going to show me something um yeah, it's gonna show me something, 
and then that would maybe see things and then really feel his love and yeah so and then what, what I felt this whole thing was essentially the baptism of the Holy Spirit and and, and yeah and that was really a very life um, pivotal life life changing moment for me uh, because I, I felt that I really knew the Father then then uh, I always felt that I really knew God like as a philosophical thing right or like a definition or like truth but not so much as a personal personal relationship and I felt that encounter that spiritual encounter it just revealed so much to me and you know, I'm shocked I'm still shocked that that it happened uh, yeah so yeah I think I just want to share this this little testimony of mine and yeah and I and, and, and as of recording which is like probably like close to two weeks after this event uh, I could hear God a lot more I could, there's so much things that he's telling me um, I could hear God, God a lot clearer um, which I, I, I can't share everything out here obviously it would be too long but uh, yeah I just felt that that the encounter really just opened up my heart to him and um, and, and, he, and he kind of opened my ears as well to really just hear him much clearer so yeah I just want to share this very short encounter spiritual encounter and, and yeah I just hope this video will minister to you as well or to, to, to I don't know yeah so yeah this all, that's all and uh, if you want to reach out, if you want to comment on anything, just just uh, shoot down in the comments below, uh, or you can you can even subscribe to my blog. I have a blog. You can I will leave the links up below. Um, yeah, so that's all, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.